Hi, in this video I'll be introducing the photon model and how to calculate the energy of a photon. You may already be familiar with the concept of light travelling as an electromagnetic wave. When a charged particle loses energy, such as when an electron moves between shells, this change of energy is released as a burst of electromagnetic radiation. We call this packet of radiation a photon. Einstein found that the energy of a photon was proportional to the frequency of its radiation. You can calculate the energy of a photon using the equation E for energy equals H multiplied by F for frequency. H is the Planck constant which has a value of 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. By substituting in the wave speed equation you can also write this as E equals HC divided by lambda, where lambda is the wavelength and C is the speed of light. This is useful when we know the wavelength but not the frequency. Here is an example. Calculate the frequency and the energy of a photon of wavelength 590 nanometers. Well, there's a couple of constants that we should know. First, H, the Planck constant, is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds and the speed of light c is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second so we should first calculate the frequency for that we can use c equals f lambda rearranging to get f equals c divided by lambda substituting the values in remembering that nanometers is times 10 to the power of minus 9 so be careful with that and this gives us a value for the frequency of 5.08 multiplied by 10 to the power of 14 hertz. To calculate the energy of a photon, we need to use the equation E equals hf or E equals hc over lambda. Since in this problem, we've been given the wavelength but we calculated the frequency it makes more sense to use the provided data just in case we made a mistake at the previous stage so let's use hc over lambda so h 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by our wavelength 590 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 9 gives us an energy of 3.37 times 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.